Hey there, how's it going? I'm kind of fascinated with how Microsoft is kind of acting like the DNC. They seem to be in denial of why the Windows Phone failed. They just don't seem to have a clue. Now, they could state that uh, Google has some things to do with it because Google intentionally sabotaged uh, Microsoft's desire to start a new, uh, uh, you know, app platform. Google utterly refused to make apps for it, so there couldn't be any Google apps for uh, for Windows 10 phones for uh, UWP. Uh, universal Windows platform. They they made sure they didn't do that, and they would threaten to sue people who uh, tried to make Google apps. You know, oh well, you need to come to these uh, these standards. Well, even you don't come to those standards. Well, you know, it's just very unrealistic. So I understand that that Google had their hand in making sure that. Uh, the universal Windows platform would fail. Um, but, you know, it's essentially failed. And Microsoft doesn't seem to realize it yet. I mean, they say, well, we, we know that the phone failed, but we have these plans, and, and it's just like, look, okay, I, I understand that it's difficult to make improvements on the desktop part of the platform. I, I understand that it's difficult. Okay, and that there are some issues with just the entire, like, I mean, look at the way the whole uh, Windows registry is, okay? It, it's, it's, it's messed. There are so many holes in Windows, the, the way that the, the, you know, the desktop part of Windows, there are so many security holes that they continually have to patch, right? And they don't have to do that nearly as much on, on Universal uh, Windows platform, okay? It's understandable why they would want to push it, but they're living in la-la land, you know? That, that's pushing that stuff is somewhat what made them fail. If they would have made Windows Phone uh, have more of the options you'd find on a desktop machine, more people would have probably used it. Especially if they made some way that you can just flat out run desktop applications on it. Hey, you know, people would have used that a lot. It's like, wow, look at this, look at this little bitty uh, uh, Windows computer. This is awesome. No, no, they went to this this weird universal Windows platform that none of the, uh, there are no, there still are no, to my knowledge anyway, no universal Windows platform apps that are professional grade. They're all something that, that basically turns whatever it is you're using into more of a device that has extremely limited options. Even their, uh, uh, their UWP versions of Word and Excel, I mean, you don't, you don't have shit for options. Like, for instance, here, let me, let, me, let me bring up Word here. Let's move this down here like this. Notice here on the left, all of these things are called Document This, Document 26, Document 2. You know, if, if, if you create a document, and you want to go to save, well, upload pending, your change, your, all your changes are saved automatically. Well, now you have to say, rename this file. You can't choose, you, it's weird. Weird saving right now. Saving right now, it's one, it's one word. The word uh, a document saving right now saving right now hey guess what it's saving right now aren't you happy
If I go back to here, I go to save. Saving right now. All your changes are saved automatically. That long to, to yeah, to save this one word. Okay, uh, uh, this is typical of UWP stuff. It, it strangely slows. Things slow down for reasons that make no sense. And limited functionality, you know? So let's just, the Treaty of the Time was not taken sincerely. For he, oops, okay, had not taken the bait for the plan to work. Later on that evening, he took, I think there's a comma there, he took the parchment, for that was the proof for the arrest of the man that had gone mad. This man was mad, evil, and plotful. He likes to think evil, so he won't get arrested for trespassing on private property. So, and yes, plotful isn't a word. So, here's something that you can't get rid of. Uh, it, like on the regular version of Word, you can you have some mouse options, but on this, you know, you want to highlight, you know, one letter of a word. You'll get the whole word. So if you want to correct part of the spelling of a word, well, you can't use the mouse to select it unless you you do that first, then go back to the right, and then go left again. It's a it's weird behavior. I don't know how that behavior helps anyone. I've never understood that. It's 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 one of these things that's been in Microsoft Word since Microsoft Word. Um, I I believe it was even in there in the DOS versions, if I'm not mistaken. Um, provided you were using a version that you could use the mouse on. Um, so anyway. So let, let's go to let's go to settings here, right? Now anyone that knows Microsoft Word knows that Word options is a big thing. It's 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 like pages of options. Word options, show document content, document view direction, left to right or right to left. That's all they're going to give. That is the nature of UWP apps. And yet somehow Microsoft wants to still push this out as being, oh, we should we should all want to switch to this. Yeah, they get rid of Windows Movie Maker. I mean, you can still install it, but they don't support it, right? They don't want you to use it. They'll say, oh, go to the, the go to the store and get something there. Um, there isn't anything there for that uh, Microsoft. There isn't anything there. The few things that are there are not any more functional than the uh, than those apps you find on uh, Android or iOS. They're they're these useless piece of garbage apps. They turn your computer into having the 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 lame functionality of apps on phones. You know now this is the UWP was designed around phones. Um, I don't need to have this up on the screen anymore, so. Let's uh, make this full screen again. Uh, UWP apps were designed around phones. There's, you know, and yet the phones have died. They're no longer doing phones, but they're still going to push the platform that only makes sense on phones. You know, there are other operating systems out there already that have been you know, decently successful. If Microsoft keeps going down this route, um, and some of the major contenders start to offer their products on Linux, Microsoft's toast. Let's say if Adobe and Avid and Steinberg and a bunch of gaming companies, besides what you can get on Steam, uh, started putting their stuff out on Linux, Windows is toast. Let me show you something else here, too. 
You know, I, I, I just can't wrap my mind around why Microsoft hasn't fixed this yet. I am on the uh, Insider preview builds. I, I've had better luck with them than, than the RTM of, uh, of Windows. I switched to this because I was having trouble with uh, crashing. Uh, when I would try to make videos, I would be working on videos in uh, Adobe Premiere. Um, it, it would suddenly lock and the whole computer would reset. It's not a regular restart. No, no, just reset. Like you just hit the hard reset button, right? Um, and I'm like, okay. And my brother's having the same problem with the RTM of Windows 10. I've heard a number of people having problems with the RTM of Windows 10. And it's just like, you know, Microsoft, yeah, your, your forced updates, this is what results out of it. If I was to install the RTM of Windows 10 and completely disable updates altogether, I'd probably have a solid operating system. That's how this shit works. That's what it's been the whole time Microsoft has had their OS. You know, I love I love Windows, I do. I love Windows and I always seem to come back to it. But Microsoft does make some shitty decisions and they seem to be getting shittier as time goes on. So let's let's go to uh, let's go to the control panel, right? I think I might have already had that open. I did. Oh, whatever. I had programs and features open. So, okay. So we've got still got their regular control panel, right? And then you have settings. Well, let's make that a window instead. Window or no window? Okay. They're wanting to eventually replace this with this. There should not be two control panels. That is stupid, Microsoft. You should have had this fixed within a few months. If you're going to introduce this new settings panel, you needed to finish it. You needed to finish this shit. But I guess it's going to take, two, what, three years for you to fix it? For you to finally finish this? Th this is an incomplete operating system, bluntly. This is not a complete operating system. I mean, again, I love Windows, but this is not a complete operating system. This is like a beta or an alpha. And, you know, in this version that I'm using right now, there are still more options than what you have on the RTM. There's some things that are a little different here. Like, let's go to personalization. Okay, they now allow you to choose a custom color. Ooh, ah, wow, what a concept. You can choose a custom color. Oh, boy. You know, it took them forever to allow you to have uh, a color in the title bar, particularly on on non UWP apps. Um, it, it just their whole focus seems to be let's let's try to wean people off of uh, of desktop, and it's like Microsoft. That's not going to happen. You are not going to get people to stop using the desktop. You know, you they're supposedly going to release a version of Office, a full-fledged version of Office for the UWP uh, UWP platform. Well, that's kind of redundant as P platform um, for UWP. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'll look forward to seeing that. They're also supposedly going to do that with the, uh, Windows Movie Maker. I look forward to seeing that. They need to show that the platform is capable of doing the things that we're used to doing on the desktop. And if they can't, you know, public perception is everything. I'm sure that the, the universal Windows platform is capable of doing a lot of neat stuff. But it's, the software isn't being made. It's just not being made, and not even by Microsoft. One of the other things is uh, Microsoft has purposely went out of their way to make sure 
um, this is my personal pet peeve with with UWP is uh, you can't use a video capture card as a webcam in UWP. They have purposely went out of their way to stop you from doing it. There was an insider preview build from somewhere between the beginning of February and the end of March of, of last year that they had forgotten to cripple the option. Now I've thought about trying to get that version, but then they have it so locked down that if, if I would have to continually change the date to be within that month all the time. Because if you're, you're, the, the date goes beyond that, that period, they're like, no, you can't even boot up. Or that's what I've read anyway. So, you know, even if I found that version, that particular build, um, I probably still wouldn't, I, I wouldn't be able to run it. So, um, but yeah, they have went out of their way on purpose to make sure that you cannot use a video capture card as a camera. They've also made sure that if you have, you know, let's see, even one of their webcams, that you can't adjust anything on the webcam when you're in something like Skype or any sort of thing that uh, you're going to, uh, that's going to use your webcam, that you can't adjust the camera. It all has to be automatic adjustments. That's a big pet peeve for me, okay? And it is, because I, I <laughs> like this, this lighting right here. Okay, this lighting you see right now. If you do that on a webcam with, uh, heck, why don't, why don't I just show you? But you can see how bad that looks, right? I mean, normally I could get it to look, you know, the color-wise, I could get it to look as good as my, um, as my, you know, good camera, right? But. See, normally I could do the white balance and, and adjust this just to the right level like that. And uh, the saturation is all right. Let's do the contrast down. That doesn't appear to be doing anything now. So yeah, I mean, I can get it pretty close. Oh, now that's working. Great. Okay, it wasn't working before because of the... Uh, the wrinkles in the Kleenex. No, because of uh, um, the exposure was uh, set for automatic. So, and, and this sort of thing, exposure, yeah, you're, you're not going to adjust that in UWP mode. It's just not going to happen. They're not going to give you that option. Period. They're not going to give you that option. So, you know, this camera looks awesome when you can adjust it manually. When you can't, well, you know, they want you to use, uh, you know, standard lighting. Let, let's disconnect this. We don't, we don't need to have this here anymore. So, yeah, those sorts of adjustments you can't do in UWP mode. They're, they're not available. And when you use the UWP mode, it will suddenly switch to, uh, to all of the, uh, it's within two minutes, it will switch to automatic everything. So those are those, that's a pet peeve for my of, of mine. It is. I think I think a company going out of their way to make sure that uh, the only quality you can have as far as video is garbage. Um, yeah, it's it's I find that irritating. I do. So yeah, if if Adobe and Avid and Steinberg and and a shit ton of other companies they make their software for Linux. Uh, Windows is toast. Toast. I can't see really anything holding people to Windows at that point. A number of businesses have, uh, businesses have already switched to Linux. Um, you know, Microsoft must support their desktop customers. They must support uh, making desk running desktop apps. Uh, they must make an effort to put a focus on those customers or they're eventually going to be just toast. Microsoft will go the way of the Windows phone. Now, I, I worry right now about what's just happening in 
in the tech field in general, the, the, the tech market, the tech industry. Microsoft is making stupid decisions, Google is making stupid decisions, and Apple is certainly making stupid decisions. So the choices that we have are stupid, stupid, or stupid, or you know, right now it's oh go to some go to Linux and uh, not have any decent software available. Granted, I mean there's certainly more good software available for Linux than there is uh, the UW you know UWP. Certainly more good software available for Linux than that. At least there are a number of professional grade. Uh, software titles on Linux. There is not on UWP. So why does Microsoft keep focusing on that? I mean, they dumped, or Steve Ballmer, or he quit, but uh, he, he knew that he, he the stuff that he was pushing forth wasn't working. So what do they do? Well, they'll just kind of modify what wasn't working and, and just hope it'll fall together. Well, it doesn't work that way. So, now this might be exactly what needs to happen, unfortunately. Similar to, uh, as much as I hate Trump, I think he needed to become president for us to realize how fucked up things are, how corrupt things are. Now, he's adding to all of that corruption. He is very, very corrupt himself. But we weren't really able to see how corrupt we were until he came into office. And that is one good thing about Trump being elected. And that would be one good thing about if we have a technology crash. For us to go, wait a minute, uh, we need to figure out what our priorities are. So...